Hello everyone, this is Leah Dixon from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. I am back again for take two of my Facebook Live this morning. Um, I am not winning with technology this week. Um, if I believe my mom, it's because of Mercury Retrograde. She sends me all these updates and tells me when to use technology and buy technology. And certainly this week, um, my tech has not been working for me. All right, so I am here today um, because today is the first day that you can actually purchase. Um, good morning, Denise. Oh, no, it's definitely not on your side. Technology is the problem on my end. Um, <laughs> so um, today is the first day that you can kind of buy some out of catalog products. So in our mini catalog, you'll see that we have a, the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. Well, it actually is like the cousin to the 2017 celebration set Hey Chick, which Stampin' Up! has just re-released for a limited time from now. Good morning, Janice. <laughs> um, so um, Stampin' Up! has re-released the Hey Chick stamp set from now until the end of June. But what's even cooler is to go with both stamp sets, they have released some coordinating dies. So to go with the birthday one, we have a bundle where you can save 10% and you get these fun um, little birthday sets. So it'll cut out all the chick images as well as there's a happy birthday, a little um, picket fence and some streamers and some other fun little things. And then we also have with the Hey Chick one, a full farm set, a chicken coop, some chicken wire, corn stalks, eggs, little stumps and signposts. And of course we can cut out all four of our chicks. Good morning, Catherine. So this is mostly out of catalog. These three items are not visible in our catalog currently. We just have the Hey Birthday Chick and then you kind of need to know because of your demo telling you and I've posted a few things and I'll continue to post um, about these other items. Um, so I'm going to set all this to the side. I did make a post yesterday with all the purchasing info for those and I'll update this post once my video is done with all the links now that they've gone live today. But we are going to create a card using this Hey Birthday Chick stamp set because I absolutely love these guys. I think they are so much fun. So today's card is going to be actually really, really simple but using a new tool that I have, um, our blending brushes. Good morning, Eileen. So I just have here a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock and it's already cut and scored. Oh, I must have forgotten to turn off my, oh, sorry guys, that went really out of focus. Forgot to turn off my notifications. So hopefully nobody calls during this. Um, not used to doing this on my phone. I haven't done it on my phone in so long. All right, so a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock folded in half. And then I have two strips of the um, Artistry Blooms stamp DSP. So this Artistry Blooms DSP is just so much fun, such great colors, um, really bright, beautiful stuff, lots of ombre happening here and fun splashes. Um, so I just had to use this for a birthday card because it's too much fun. So what I actually did here is I cut a strip of paper at five and a half by two and then I just sliced off half an inch because I've kind of gotten into decorating the insides of my cards and so I'm going to use that on the inside. So I'm going to take this DSP and my liquid glue and just put a bunch on the back. You could use seal for this or whatever you like for decorating or sorry, not decorating, for gluing. And I am going to glue this down, leaving just the tiniest little edge of white on the side there. So I'm gluing that straight to my card front. And I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm gonna glue him straight to the inside of my card to create just like a little fancy edge, just to kind of tie the inside and the outside together. And again, when I put them down, I'm going to leave just the tiniest little edge. There we go. 
just a little bit of something interesting on the inside of our card. Oh, it would have been nice if that was straight. That's the joys of liquid glue. I was able to just scooch that over so it is straight. All right, so we've kind of got all of our gluing done for this card. The rest of this we're going to be inking straight onto our card and doing a little bit of embossing as well. So I'm going to actually grab some Memento ink and the Happy Birthday stamp from the Hey Birthday Chick set. And I'm going to just stamp Happy Birthday down here. There we go, in Memento Black. And while I've got my Memento out, I'm gonna take my birthday chick eaten away on this cupcake and just stamp him over here. There we go. And actually, I think I might pull in our chick from the Hey Chick set as well. I feel like I want two chicks on this card. I'm just going to throw this guy in a block. I don't really have an appropriate size one, so I'm going to use a way oversized one. All right. And actually, I think I'm going to show you two techniques today. So I'm going to stamp this guy right here onto my card. And then I'm going to grab a post-it note and stamp him one more time on my post-it note and I'm going to try and make sure I get him so that his head is up at the sticky part of my post-it note. All right, so with that done, so I did have a card design in mind and now I'm changing it up. Sorry guys. All right, so with that done, I am going to fussy cut this little guy. There are dies that coordinate with him, but I want actually for the cuts around him to be much closer than the dies are going to get, just because he's right on my card base. Um, so I mean, I don't have to get in crazy close, but I'm gonna try and get in pretty close to that black line. And around his tail, I'm not gonna worry too, too much about it. Okay, so while I'm fussy cutting this guy, I'll just let you know that these guys can all be bought like stamp sets, dies, and everything individually, um, but your best deal is to actually buy them as a bundle. So there's a Hey Birthday Chick bundle that comes with the birthday chicks and the birthday dies, and then there's a Hey Chick bundle that comes with, um, so I'm just going to cut off all that excess there. Um, there's a Hey Chick bundle that comes with all the farm dies. And the advantage to buying the bundles, good morning Val, the advantage to buying the bundles is you actually save 10%. I've either had too much coffee or not enough coffee this morning. My hands are not wanting to cooperate for this fussy cutting. Um, and so you save 10% when you buy the bundles. What's really nice about the bundles as well is that right now during celebration, um, one of the bundles, the Hey Chick bundle, is $60.25 for the bundle, which means you earn a celebration set when you purchase it. Um, and so if you guys haven't seen our celebration catalog, we have this whole little mini catalog with all these free items. So with a $60 purchase, the paper blooms, the Darling Donkeys, which goes so well with these Hey Chick stamps. The Approaching Perfection, the Ombre Paper, which if you were trying to order this and it was out of stock, it is now back in stock. Oh yeah, if you already have the Hey Chick stamps from 2017, Val, the dies coordinate and you can buy the dies separately. Okay, we've got our Corner Bouquet and our Heal Your Heart stamp sets. These are all $60 offerings. The Flowers and Fields, which goes so nicely with these guys. Um, and then we're into some 120s, which you would qualify for if you grabbed both bundles, okay? The other bundle, the Hey Birthday Chick bundle, they actually were kind of sneaky. They priced it at $59.25, so you're actually not going to earn a celebration stamp set on that one because you're $0.75 cents short. Problem solved, 
add on some blending brushes, add on a dimensional pack, add on a glue stick, like so many little things that you could add on to get yourself up over that $60 and earn a second celebration set or a celebration set if you're just buying the birthday chicks. Um, or, you know, if you're like Val and you already own the Hey Chick set, grab yourself the birthday bundle and the dies for Hey Chick and voila, you've got yourself a celebration set. So it's kind of like the best time of the year to do any kind of shopping because you get that free stuff with basically every order. You'll love it. All right. So I'm just about done fussy cutting here. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about cutting out between his legs because those are actually going to get covered up um, with my other chick that I stamped here. So now the reason I've been at my post-it note version is because now I am going to stick this down over top of the one that I stamped right on the card front. Oh, and I might actually just, um, how am I gonna stick that? Oh, that'll be fine. I'll just be careful with how I brush. And I'm gonna grab some Flirty Flamingo and one of my blending brushes. So if you haven't used these, these are really, really amazing. I'm just going to check that mine's pretty clean. Yeah. So you can see, even though it looks very pink, when I brush down here, there's like nothing coming off of it. So this brush is actually like here. Can you see? It's all these tiny little hairs. It's like an actual brush. Um... And so I don't have one of these for every color, but I have one of these for every color family. So like my pinks get one, my reds get one. And you can wash them just by rubbing them on your chamois um, or, you know, getting some soap and water and um, washing them in the sink. But I find I actually don't really need to clean mine too often. They come clean quite well just by brushing them off. So I'm going to brush my ink pad to get some ink onto my blending brush. And then I'm going to come over here to my card uh oh, and hold my chick down while I do this. And I'm just going to very, very lightly brush some pink onto my card. Now, what I love about this as opposed to sponging is it creates a much, much softer edge on everything that you do. Okay, so I have created now that nice little pink background that I wanted. And when I lift my chick away, there we go. He's sitting there on a love, and I'm going to hold on to that chick just on the side of my desk so I can use him for other things. So now I've got that nice light sponging. So you can see where I didn't get too close, but I wasn't worried about that because that part of him is going to get covered up. So I've just, is so easy to do such light sponging. And then I just come over here and I kind of sponge off the rest just by rubbing it onto my extra cardstock. And now that's clean and ready to go in another pink. All right, so with that done, we're going to get coloring. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a bit more stamping. I'm going to grab my Melon Mambo. And I've got these crazy little streamer things here. Now, I don't want them too, too dark, even though we do have some dark Melon Mambo on this card. I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp my card front just to create a slightly lighter tone. Okay, and I'm just gonna do two of those on there. And now I'm gonna get busy coloring my chicks. So I want them to be a little bit wild and crazy. Um, and I also, I don't know, I just love um, Bermuda Bay with Melon Mambo. It just is one of my favorite combos. So I am gonna tone down my Bermuda Bay though with a little bit of a light balmy blue and you're going to see why in a second because when I on this guy when I color him I'm going to do his tips in Bermuda but then I'm going to kind of fade it into the center into the balmy blue and this is going to be a useful thing to do when we color our other chick because to color his tail means being able to blend towards his body. Okay, so we've got that. And on here as well, I've got to get in here to his tail. Okay. And 
Now we'll do a little bit of blending with our light balmy blue. And so cover in my center and then color out towards those tips. And so often people will blend using two of one color. I love to blend two different colors together. Um, I love watching how that all changes, changes the tone that we've got on the page. All right, and so here I am even coloring right down over top of where I've already done my Bermuda Bay. It's just going to lighten and brighten it a bit. There we go. And then here I'm going to blend, actually I'm going to bring out that smaller tip. I find the smaller tip is better for truly blending where you might have like a straight line like I had right there. Okay, and then coming out towards our tips. All right, so that guy's hair is done, or feathers are done, I guess it's not hair. And now I'm gonna do this guy. Now here's where the real trick happens is because this guy, his tail isn't hidden behind him, we're actually gonna see where his tail meets his body. And so that's why I grabbed the much lighter light balmy blue as one of my blending colors because that's going to allow me to fade into white on his body. So I'm going to come over here, color the tips of his feather tails in Bermuda Bay, and then just come down slightly. And then I'm going to come in with my light balmy blue and I'm going to blend that right while it's still kind of wet and ready to blend. Come out to the tips. And then with my wider tip, I'm gonna blend that a bit more and then come in and do a little bit of shadowing here and do these little bits here and just give him a little bit more blue coming through and a little bit of blue up at his face. Okay, so he's not all blue, but he's a little bit blended. Okay, and if, you know, you feel like that's too dark, you can come back in with a um, color lifter and remove some of that. And I might do that. We'll see how it kind of settles itself down while I do the hair here on his head. I keep calling it hair. I guess they're feathers. <laughs> All right, there we go. So yeah, I think I am going to come in there with a color lifter. It's not bad, but it is a little bit darker than I had hoped for. So I'm going to come in with a color lifter and just lighten it a bit. Okay. And the color lifter is going to work its magic and just soften all of that. Excellent. All right, so that is all of our hair done on these guys. That was the light balmy blue in the light Bermuda Bay. Now I'm gonna grab my dark Calypso Coral just to pop in here. Actually, you know what? I might use Mango Melody actually, cause that's the yellow that's the yellowish orange that's in here. Use Mango Melody for his beak. Um, no, that's too light. I'm just gonna use it for the candle. I am gonna come back in here with my Calypso Coral. I do want something more dark in there. Okay, so Calypso Coral for his beak. Clipso Coral for his legs. There we go. Oh, and I just realized I didn't do any light balmy blue highlights on this guy. So I'm just going to come in here and do just those little feathers. There we go. So nothing too significant. Just a little... Maybe a little shadow. All right. Just a little touch of blue on him. Okay, now our cupcake. And so I am gonna pull into this magenta, um, or sorry, it's not magenta, it's um, melon mambo and flirty flamingo. So I'm actually gonna grab some flirty flamingo here and pop that on there. Color up this cupcake with my flirty flamingo. There. And actually, I don't think that's dark enough. I'm going to come in with the darker flirty flamingo. I need this to really stand out. 
There we go. And then go over those again. All right. And then we're going to do the base of that cupcake just in some pool party. Kind of nice and subtle. You don't need the wrapper too, too crazy. There we go. And our candle we can do in, let's grab magenta. Well, actually, no, not beside that other pink. Let's just do our candle in Bermuda Bay. All right, so that was a lot of coloring to do, but we've got that part done. And now we're gonna cut this out using one of the dies. So now I have them, there we go. So I love that this die cuts out the whole outside shape, but it's also gonna cut out this space in between. So I'm not gonna bring my Big Shot over here. I don't have my mini one yet, or sorry, my big stamping cut and emboss machine. I don't have my mini one yet, so I'm just gonna run over to my machine and quickly cut that one out. There you go. So it cuts it out and cuts out all the little bits around it. It's just great. The one that cuts out our chicken that stands up actually cuts out the little space between his legs as well. So it's pretty awesome. And now we're going to adhere this guy with some dimensionals. So I'm going to put a dimensional by his head and on his body. And maybe we'll sneak one in here up on his tail as well. And here we go. We'll peel these off. And we're going to put this guy down right in front of this guy. This is why the legs didn't matter so much, because we're going to put him right in front and a little bit onto our designer series paper. All right, so we've got some birthday happening here. And now I'm just going to finish it off with some embellishments. So now these embellishments I'm using are on back order, but as far as I know... Oh, nice, Val. Yeah, the mini is great. Um, as far as I know, you can still order these. They're just on back order, and so they'll just not ship with your order right away, but they'll ship when they're available. And so these are the pastel pearls, and they're just perfect in that pink. Just come in there and pop those on, and voila, we have our finished birthday card using the Hey Birthday Chick stamp set. And we snuck in our little hey chick into there as well um so so much fun using these guys together um i just think they're so sweet and so you can see there's like each chick there's just a different pose for the same chick um and then some new sentiments so yeah, that is the new Hey Chick and Hey Birthday Chick bundles. I hope you enjoyed seeing those in action and those new um, blending brushes. I love them. They make creating backgrounds so simple and really like it's hard to mess up using them. Um, so really, really love them. All right. Thanks so much for joining me today. And did you have to put an inside on the front colored piece i'm not sure what you mean by an inside on it this piece um is just a piece of designer series paper and then i did cut it this is one and a half inches by five and a half and then i did put a little um stripe of it on the inside i didn't have to do that i just chose to and i didn't line this at all i just put it straight down the blends bleed oh yes they do yep um so I guess on the inside yeah I did it light enough though that they didn't bleed through so I guess I got lucky on that one um I find they only really bleed if you use like a lot of color um so yeah when I colored that first check I guess I did run the risk of it bleeding to the inside. If it had, I could have either put a piece of Whisper White in here or I could have done all of this on um, a separate piece, but this is the thick 
um, the thick cardstock and I was using a lighter color and using it very sparingly. So I guess I got lucky. <laughs> yeah. So you could always use your markers as well to do that coloring. And then you wouldn't have to worry about that at all. Um, and with the guy that I did on the background, there's no need to kind of blend anything in because his tail is separated from his body so nicely with that line. So yeah, um, thick is the best. Yes. <laughs> all right, you guys have a great day and we'll see you all soon.